Hey everyone, I'm Wilson, your bench watching friendly product manager. Here's my pain point. When I stream movies and shows, I'm watching them in 4K Ultra HD. But whenever I try to download them, the quality is never as good as just watching online. Why does this keep happening? This is actually a DRM issue, digital rights management. Streaming platforms lock every show and movie with encryption, and only the official app holds the keys. So even if you download a video officially, most of the time you can't actually open it on Mac or with any other video player. It's basically useless. Nope. And that's why most so-called download tools often give you what I call fake HD. You're not really getting the original video file and you're forced to use special software just to watch it. Not a great user experience. Here's how it works. When you're streaming 4K, the platform is temporarily giving the device permission for the best of quality. But when you try to download things, DRM gets stricter. The file you get is often downgraded, sometimes limited to 720p or 1080p, and extra features like HDR or multi-audio tracks just aren't included. That's the real reason for the gap. There are basically two download methods out there. The first, the one I always use, is direct download. With the stream app, the app mimics the official player, grabs the encrypted stream directly from the server, and then unlocks it locally. So you get everything to 4K, HDR, or the audio and subtitle tracks. It's fast, and it doesn't chew through system resources. The second method, and honestly what most so-called downloaders actually do, is re-encode or screen record. You basically play back the whole video and record it in real time. It works in theory, but in practice, you lose a ton of quality. Recordings are blurry, audio gets downgraded, and recording platforms like Netflix or Disney Plus can just block your efforts and give you a black screen. Definitely not the best way. Let's see a real example. I downloaded the same episode twice. Once with StreamFab, direct download. Once using another tool that relies on a screen recording. StreamFab finished the download in just a few minutes with 2 4 k quality, crisp HDR, and all the audio tracks intact. The screen recording method also got the episode saved, but the process took much longer. And while the file may look fine at first glance, when I played it side by side, StreamFab's direct download simply delivers noticeable better details, color, and sound. In short, both methods work, but if you care about getting the best possible quality with less hassle, direct download makes a real difference. So to sum up, direct download is hands down the best way to preserve high quality. It's quick, gets you the real source, and is fully automated, but only works with proper tech and apps like StreamFab. Re-encode or screen recording? You could use it when you are desperate, but don't expect miracles. The quality drop is very obvious, and many platforms are smart enough to block it nowadays. From a product manager and a heavy user's perspective, StreamFab is my go-to for any high-quality downloads. That's my real-world experience. Whether you are Mac, Windows, or Linux user, if direct download is available, trust me, it's 100% worth it for anyone who cares about quality. What problems have you had downloading your favorite shows? Got a tour platform you want me to test? Drop a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next time, I'll break down even more streaming tech secrets. See you guys 